Good morning everyone and welcome to the Mommy Life channel and if you guys like lifestyle or mommy chant um, type videos uh, subscribe down below and today I want to share with you our transition from the crib to the toddler bed and um, so first I just bought a toddler bed because we were planning on baby number two and I wanted to get him a little used to to a different bed and to transition into an older bed and he is two years and one month and so I bought him and we put him in there for two three nights and he kept on running out and it was very stressful it took him two, two hours about to get him to bed so I put him back in his crib and I'm like I'm gonna try in a couple days um and we'll see from there and then he started climbing out of his crib and i'm like okay um it is not safe we are not putting him back into the crib anymore we are going to transition him into the toddler bed right now and i did some little bit research and saw that trying to do a night routine and that's what i tried so I will read you guys what I have in my notes. So then the routine was I fed him very well. So his bedtime was at 8. So I fed him at 7, a little bit before 7, very well. And then after we would eat, he would eat, I would take him to take a bath or if it wasn't bath day we would i would just put him up on the sink and we would brush our teeth i would wash his hands and feet kind of to wash him from dirt and i would use a nighttime kind of soap baby soap so it has a little bit lavender in there and kind of calming and then after that I would put him on his changing table and I would put a fresh diaper. I would put some lotion. We have Baby Ganics lotion and it has chamomile, I think, in there. Some relaxing um, flowers in there also. And then after that, I would put a fresh pair of clothing that's soft or either PJs, just like t shirt and some light um, long pants something comfy and then we would go in the corner and we would read for about five minutes i would like give him quality time just me and him he would feel like i'm spending time with him showing him some love we'd read and giggle and try to make some animal noises and as we're done reading i would kind of say are you ready to go on your big boy bed um, let's go sleep on your big boy bed and make it exciting and he would see that excitement in me and I'd lay him down on the bed and I put his blanket I got him like a new sheet so we got the bed new bed so he, he is the child that was not super excited for the new bed he liked to play it in it sometimes during the day but he was more of scared to sleep in this bed at night than excited so i would lay him down and with the excitement i would show him yay it's your big boy bed you're gonna sleep in there and then i had i put little stuffed toys on both sides of him and i would lay him down and i would turn off the light and close the door mostly but not shut it all the way and i would put this animal here so he doesn't fall or whatever you have and i would put a pillow so he doesn't fall off the side while we're training him to sleep in here and i would lay down and hide and kind of hide so he can't see me for the first three days um so he can kind of feel safe if he gets up and um, isn't sure I just lay him back down and I would say it's time for bed and he would go to bed and it just took about two like 
Since I started that routine, he did very well. He'd fall asleep in his bed within 30 minutes and he just did very well. And um, he loves having his stuffed toys there even though he never was played with these or never even liked stuffed toys. But now like they're soft, he can lay his head on them. But he just likes to look at them sometimes when he's like going to sleep. Um, and that method, this kind of night routine really works for us. And he, I was just so surprised how from the first two days I just tried and winged it myself and it was horrible and I was getting frustrated two hours and he wouldn't go to sleep. But with the night routine, he just, within 30 minutes, he was passed out. Um, it was it was really cool and I just wanted to share our journey and our experience of transitioning from a crib to a toddler bed um, and our son he's two years and one month and he doesn't talk very much he talks but not as average two-year-olds because he's around three languages not just one language um, so he um, that's normal for him to be a little bit behind on speech because he's surrounded by three different languages all the time so he kind of doesn't know what to pick up um, but yeah I just wanted to share our journey and hope you guys um, if you guys are planning on transitioning or in the middle of it that doing like a night routine would help you um, I'm still laying down next to him but I hide so he can't see me for about five minutes and then I I leave and then he goes to sleep he sleeps he doesn't come out um in the morning it just depends it's a little bit harder with him because he doesn't really talk and he understands but not I don't feel I don't know if he fully understands but there are mornings where he comes out of his bed and goes into a room once he wakes up. But most of the time we're already up by the time he wakes up. Or two of the mornings he just was sitting on his bed and calling out for us and then we came and got him. So it's just different but in the morning wise you would have to see what would work for your child. If he talks you can say you know wait in your bed until I come and get you or if he doesn't talk yet um, it's just you can try and still say that but if he comes out he comes out if he doesn't um, it just depends on your child and where he's at and what you guys are wanting either him to stay in his bed until you get him or you don't care if he comes out and before you get him or something like that.
Let's go read. You want to go read? Let's go read. You want to read Good Night Moon? Yeah? In this great green room, there are bunny and balloon. The cow. Jumping over the moon. And three. And there were three little bears sitting on the chair. You want a different book? Which one? You want the animal book? Let's see. What does the monkey sound? Yeah. What does the horse? Can you do? Can you do Can you do a horse sound? What's that? Is that a dog? Woof woof? Yeah? Oh, what's a bear? Roar bear. Say hello to all the animals. Yeah, that's a monkey. Mm -hmm. What's that? What is that? Is that a dog? What is that? Is that a horse?
it's showing its teeth. to go to your big yeah. boy bed? Yeah. Jacob, you're a big boy. Let's go to your big boy bed. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to your big boy bed. Yay! Yay, our big boy bed. Make our bed from our nap. Yeah. Oh. Let's put your friends over here. Mark your friends. Yeah, and make it all warm, nice and cozy. And good night. Are you gonna sleep good tonight? Yeah, sleep in your big boy bed. Alright. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you guys and um, I just wanted to make this video because I was struggling with the transition and didn't know and I actually watched a YouTube video that a mother shared her journey and that really actually helped me, helped me with this journey and I'm so grateful for YouTube for helping me with a lot of stuff. Um, I've looked on YouTube for... A lot of advice and yeah bye